Yeah, from the electric cars themselves to passionate electric car owners, this event was pretty electric when it came to showcasing EVs. On Thursday, September 26th, Ozark Electric hosted the Electric Vehicle Lunch and Learn at Arvis Ballpark. The event showcased vehicles and experts in the field. Rachel Harris says it's a great way to let people check out EV vehicles. So at Ozarks Electric, we are a member-owned electric cooperative, and we try to do events that are value adds for our membership and also th for our community. Once a year, we want to have an opportunity for our members to come out and really look at the vehicles, talk to the experts in the field on electric vehicles. We also have partnered with McClarty Daniel, and they have multiple vehicles here as well. Attendees like Gary Berger are electric vehicle enthusiasts, hoping to share their passion with others. Gary runs the Tesla Owners Club of Arkansas. I'm the founder of the Tesla Owners Club of Arkansas Incorporated. We have 1,700 members right now around Arkansas, and we help people who are looking to get into an electric car or already have one and have questions about it. The advantages are way less maintenance. They're fun to drive. They're quiet so you can hear the music you're playing. They're also good for the environment because at the point of driving, you're no longer putting any pollution out. As electric vehicles continue to rise in the vehicle market, events like this hope to help those interested in EVs have their questions answered and give them the ability to see the vehicles themselves. Ozarks Electric has hosted this event for years in the past, but this is the first time it's been at Arvis Ballpark's parking lot. The event organizers say they're going to continue this for years to come. Live for UATV, I'm Joshua Weisel.